Ladies and gentlemen, it is Unleashed, the Jessica Wild story with your host, Chris Best here. And of course, we're taking a look at uh, our social media feeds. Byron Saxon coming in saying, what a night. Didn't expect that at all. Uh, Mark for Life saying, dude, it was so cool. Of course, referencing last week when Jessica Wild defeated uh, Shotzi Blackheart. And they call her Shotzi in the game, but I'm calling her Shotzi Blackheart. Uh, we've got more social media feeds. Jessica Wild came to my hometown and invited my ring. Never trust her before. Certainly can't trust her new. Now, not new, whatever I said there. <laughs> oh my, and then uh, Tasia Tastic saying, oh my God, I knew Jessica Wild wouldn't disappoint. Call me Psycho, which is Psycho Sally saying, hey, wait, do I have to, re- do I respond to this stuff? Okay, I got to click on them too. I'll get rid of them. Or clear message notifications, just like that. Okay, so right now, Geneva Rose wants to talk to me. So let's see what she has to say. No, that wasn't you about to tell William Regal no to a WWE contract. Wait, is this you telling me to say yes to William Regal in a WWE contract? Why wouldn't you sign? Everything we've built together with TBD, our mission, you know how much it means to me. I don't want to abandon TBD, and I don't want to abandon you. TBD isn't going anywhere. You think I'm going to let our momentum stop just because you get to go to the bigs? No way. Give it a chance. You hate it here, you come back home. But don't say no to the adventure. I mean, it is kind of cool that Regal recognizes what I bring to the table. And that was only one match. You did that with what everyone assumed would be a quick victory for Shotzi. And you don't think this is selling out? Remember when we decided to start TBD? Of course I do. As much as I wish I could forget that show, that promoter had such a narrow vision of what wrestling should be. And we sat down at that diner and decided if we ever started a promotion, we would let all kinds of people with all types of ideas get in the ring and fight, literally, for their vision. Yeah, we were very idealistic before we had to pay bills. Remember those contracts we signed with each other on those diner napkins? But we did follow through on all of those plans. Aside from coming up with a name besides TBD, of course. My point is, we had a mission. Still do. And now, you're getting a very real chance to take your vision to a company that has more reach than anyone else. Do you really want to make a difference and change this industry into what you think it could be? You can't say no. I guess I have to find Regal and tell them yes, then. I'll let you get to it. Just don't big time us when you come home to visit, okay? (laughs) No promises. 
interesting, very interesting here. So we're signing a contract with the WWE. I got to assume we're starting on the Raw roster, obviously, because the Raw logo on the uh, loading screen here. And of course, there is my trophy for that, saying I've signed with the uh, with WWE. And I've signed to the Raw roster. And I'm probably going to be taking on Shotzi again. But we'll see. We'll see who uh, what our first match is here. Uh, there's that pipsqueak again. Let's take a look at our options menu. We've got some social media stuff here. Geneva Rose uh, saying, uh, congratulations on signing the contract. Okay, let's see what the pipsqueak has to say. Hello, hello. Welcome to Raw. Big fan, big fan. Really? Oh, everyone on the team is a longtime admirer ever since we got word last week it's a quick pivot to squeeze you in but we're used to things changing fast around here not a problem at all didn't think it would be i'm troy simkin yep i'm that guy i'm sure you've heard the more established superstars mention their favorite wwe producer i don't think i have hmm are you not mingling with your peers that's kind of a must do around here Actually, we have several handy documents outlining all the unwritten do's and don'ts. Doesn't that make them written? But before we get sidetracked, what I was getting at is we already have a few ideas of how to use you. But we'll be in touch. Do you maybe want to talk about some of the things I've been thinking or am interested in doing? Like I said, get settled. We're working on some ideas. Gotta run. Later, Cat. They actually call me Cap. Huh. I could have sworn it was Cat. Oh, well. We'll see where we land with the name. And there's further proof as to why Troy Simkin is called Pipsqueak by me. And of course, we're taking a look at the Raw roster here. Uh, there's Charlotte, Cody, Becky, Seth, Bailey, and Jessica Wilde. Now, in real life, the only two that are on the Raw roster are Becky and Seth. Oh, so I unlocked a few things. I unlocked the TBD Arena, the TBD Championship, um, Odyssey Rift as a playable card in the My Faction, and a couple of uh, T-shirts for uh, the Creative Wrestler stuff. Okay, cool. So I've got, I can talk to Justine, Bailey, Candice LeRae, or Carmella. Hmm. Got her pick. Let's talk to Justine. What are you doing here? Working raw too now? Nah, just in the neighborhood. But since I am here, anything I can help you with? Happy to walk you through how things work around here. I'd appreciate that. There's no shame in admitting that while I know what I'm doing in the ring, the backstage politics of this place are a bit intimidating. <laughs> That's a feature, not a flaw. But honestly,
honestly, it's probably the same as you're used to at any indie event. Use the time before any show to change your gear and level up your skills. And most importantly, don't forget to check your social media and talk to people backstage. That's pretty much how all opportunities around here come about. <laughs> Breaking a bit of the fourth wall there, Justine. Makes sense. Is that it? Pretty much. Check your social media and talk to people and you'll find yourself in matches and rivalries in no time. Just remember that once you agree to do something, you'll have to see it through before you can turn your focus to something else. Copy that. Thanks, Justine. No problem. Good luck, superstar. All right. <clears throat> so, Bailey... Wait a second here. I got some attribute points to upgrade. Let's get to work on that. Let's do it. Uh, can't afford to do it. Check the socials. DM. Oh, Nikki Cross wants something to do with me. Let's, uh, so I can do something with Bailey, something with Candace, and something with Carmella. I'm going to go with Carmella. I feel like she's going to be the it's easy one. so right amazing now. that I get to be part of your WWE story. You're welcome. Excuse me? Your debut was fire. Wearing that TBD shirt and grabbing the mic from Saxton. And I'm obviously always part of anything that's fire around here. So I'm going to be your tag team partner. Oh, I don't, I don't think so. I don't think I'm interested. Sorry. Huh. That's too bad, because I talked to Troy, and he was really into it and said he would set up a match for us. Still not interested, <laughs> Carmella. Make Sorry. That more interested, Carmella. Regardless, if a WWE producer says it's happening, it's happening. We're teaming up sooner or later, bestie. Okay, um... Candace, if, if Bailey's offering for a tag team partnership. Ah, I see. Another superstar is desperate to sit underneath my hallowed learning tree. Why would you say that? Well, you're still new around here, and you clearly don't fit in. Pretty early to make that assessment, don't you think? That's not the point. You know what you need? <laughs> Advice from someone who's not you? Exposure. I, of course, benefit from not only being multi-talented in all areas of my life, but from being the hottest talk show host in all of WWE with my show, Ding Dong Hello. Now, being on a show like that will get you exposure. Do you want me to come on Ding Dong Hello, Bailey? <laughs> of course not, you dummy. I only book stars, not desperate newbies. Everyone wants to be on my show. It's very competitive. Then what are we doing here, Bailey? Patience, sapling. I was getting to that. Like I was saying, superstars are very competitive for press. And if you wanted exposure, I heard the bump is booking the winner of an upcoming fatal four-way. I should try to get in that fatal four-way. You may be annoying, but you do have a point. I'll talk to Regal. Wow. Original idea. Thanks for letting me know your detailed plans. Yeah, hey, let's do this. So who's in this fatal four-way? That's what I'd like to know. Here she is, the formidable and unflappable. Okay. 
Yeah, we've seen my entrance, so we can skip past that. All right, Meechin. Who else? Raquel Rodriguez. And Natty. All right. Should be a entertaining match. All right, Raquel, you want to fight me first? Natty trying to slap the taste out of it. No, 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 no. Thank you, Raquel. There we go, just booting out his face off. And uh, good old Charles Robinson is our referee for this match. All right, just continue beating on Natty for now. And Raquel showcasing her impressive strength. Oh, what, Meechan, what the heck were you doing? <laughs> okay, I'll just take down everybody. All right. Um, throw you back inside the ring, Raquel. I'm still trying to figure out how I'm going to do this, how I'm going to win this match with... The... Oh, okay, so whatever Natty had planned is not happening. That's not where I was trying to throw her. I was trying to throw her out over the top rope. Right into my leg drop, you go. Oh, Rocky, uh, Raquel looking for uh, weapons. I don't know why I called her Rocky. Natty, you're not going to pin me that easy. Sorry. Choke slam for Raquel Rodriguez. Oh, I thought I could steal one right there. And I almost did, too. Like, she, like uh, she was uh, maybe half a second away from losing that match. Now I'm getting double teamed, though, for uh, doing that. Whip you across the back. Hey, hey, hey. We'll have none of that, Raquel.
Don't know what Meechin was trying to do, but uh, it failed. Eh. Try and pin Meechin. Back it off. Oh, no. Huh. See, this is the thing about these fatal four ways is you just never know where the attack is going to come from. Um, oh, I'm outside the ring. Time to get back in and take you down, Natty, and throw your butt over the top rope. No, Nietzsche. Raquel, you're you're not supposed to do this. Oh, I don't know why. Okay, that actually didn't take out as much as I thought it would. Weapons are being used everywhere. Natty, what are you trying to do, man? No, she's got me in the sharpshooter. Thank you, Raquel, for punching. Oh, I got a finisher. I didn't even realize that. Um, I need to get up. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. This is not good. This is not good, Raquel. Oh, thank you, Natty. Thank you, Natty. Natty almost, uh, I mean, uh, Raquel almost stole that one. No, no. Uh, I gotta use the quick recovery again. I do not trust this. Get out of the fuck. One, two, yes. <laughs> oh, that was a hard one. That was hard. Oh, I gotta, I gotta change her victory motion. But Jesus, Jesus, that was a tough one. Kayla, what have you got to say? Hey, congrats on your victory tonight. I'd love to have you on the bump this week, if you're free. I'd love to be on the show. Thank you so much for the opportunity. Of course, we're excited too. If I'm being honest, Raquel Rodriguez was the strong favorite to win, but it'll actually be great to get a different perspective from someone new to WWE. I can certainly offer that. So what do you want to talk about? We can tailor the conversation to whatever you think the WWE universe wants to hear about. It'll be great for them to get a chance to know you. So, uh, oh geez, these are, uh, so the selections are my goals in WWE, my history in wrestling, uh, my life outside the ring. Um, all things I'd like to talk about. Let's talk about, uh, let's talk about my history. I want the wrestling. WWE universe to know where I come from. 
I'd love to talk about my history before getting signed. Sounds great. Can't wait. All right, continue story. Continue this story. We're happy to bring in someone new to the bump who's getting some momentum with her win in a fatal four-way last week on Raw. If you don't know her, you soon will. She told me I could call her this, The Cap. Thanks for having me. Just to get this out of the way, I want to point out that you have your own mic today. No need to steal mine. Jeez, fine. I get it. Have you two actually had a chance to talk since your infamous Raw debut? We have not, but I want to say from the bottom of my heart, Saxton, I do not apologize. <laughs> <laughs> the WWE Universe is getting to know you in the ring, but they may not know about your career before WWE. How did you get started? Well, Kayla... Hey! Oh, what the... Oh! Hey! Stop it! Can we get some help in here? Let's go to break. Hmm. I thought we were going to actually get like a full on interview, but uh, no, we're not. Yeah, so Raquel Rodriguez attacks me because of my victory in the Fatal 4-Way. And uh, Bailey coming in and saying, oh my god, I know I've said WWE superstars are competitive for exposure, but that was ridiculous. And uh, Kayla Braxton said, I really don't appreciate anyone ruining my show. You're about to leave this hub. Well, yeah, I, I am going to leave this up because there's nothing more for me to do. Unless there was, I don't know, whatever. A leader in or out of the ring. The captain. All right, making my way to the ring for a match against whom? Probably Raquel. Yep. Oh, I gotta, I gotta let Raquel beat me up, apparently. All right, Raquel, do your worst. All right. So now, what? Oh, we got. I, 
I'm at a loss for words right now because Kayla Braxton is at ringside <laughs> watching. Uh, well, I guess she came out to try and help me win as she's in my corner right now. All right, Raquel, back in the ring we go. Jesus. I have no idea where the heck I was running towards. And oh, got you with one leg drop, diving elbow off the top. Oh, possum pin, eh? Ah, not gonna happen, Raquel. I am sorry. And there's the pin. Should be, oh. Okay, you still got things. You still got moves, huh? See if I can pin you off that leg drop, actually. There we go. Easy victory. Obviously, I had to let her give me some challenges just so I can uh, get some things unlocked, I suppose. Raquel coming in saying, not fair when someone like Caleb Braxton shows up unannounced. And Kayla comes in saying, you ruined my show, I ruined yours. And me coming in and saying, was that really all it took to get you off your game? Or did you just lose? Byron also uh, coming out and saying, I'm starting to notice a trend of getting pulled into shenanigans whenever Jessica Wilde is around. Oh, Pipsqueak, what do you want? Raquel is asking for a rematch. Why? Kayla may have come out and distracted Raquel, but I beat her fair. Nevertheless, WWE management has decided to grant Raquel's request. Don't worry, we know what we're doing. And since you are both apparently so hungry for press, it'll be WWE's first ever microphone match. The fuck is a microphone match? Huh? Brilliant, I know. No disqualifications, but the only weapons you'll have access to are WWE microphones. Did this guy go to the Vince Russo School of Booking? Like, seriously. <laughs> That's the dumbest thing I've ever heard. <laughs> if mics can't really hurt anyone. <laughs> Can we at least use the mics to cut promos during the match? Maybe. Whose idea even was this? 
I can tell by your misplaced mockery that you have never had a microphone thrown at you. I'll have you know that they can actually hurt a lot. So whoever thought of this match was really smart. It was you, wasn't it? It'll be an instant classic. Whatever. <sighs> Whatever. Let's let's go to this match. Okay, so we got me. And we got Raquel Rodriguez coming to the ring. This is more for Oh, ran right into that one. I'm just going to continue. Be oh, nope. Oh, Raquel. No, 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 Raquel. Raquel, what do you... No. You're not allowed to. There you go. Oh, I missed that elbow. And, of course, Raquel's going to try to attack. But it seems like I have an answer for everything she tries to do. And she has an answer for that elbow drop that I keep trying to throw at her. Throw the mic at her while she tries to... Uh... <laughs> Tries to attack me there. <laughs> Throw the mic at her again. This has been, um, you know, I don't know what to make of this feud or this, this match, but I'm going to get out of it. Oh, okay. I thought I was going to get out of it as quick as possible, but now we've got Raquel. Oh, what was that? What was that? That was Raquel's signature, but now she's got her finisher. But I reversed her finisher and put my own finisher on. Here is your... Here is 
That was just, that was weird. Just a, a, just a, a match where your only weapon is microphones. But I finished that story. Now I've got Bianca, Geneva. Oh, Candice is still around, and so is Carmella. Okay, I'm actually, I'm interested to see what uh, Candy, uh, Candice has to say. Great to see you in a WWE locker room cap. Although a little surprised, considering what you said about this place while we were on the indies together. What can I say? I'm trying new things. You don't have some secret beef with me like Shotzi apparently does. Honestly, I don't know what her deal is. You were always great to me when I was booked at TBD. Glad to hear it. So what's your game plan here? Game plan? I don't know what you mean. Keep having matches, win, repeat. Oh, geez. What? You're on a different level now. You can't just do what you've always done and expect to succeed. You have to do the work. For instance, it's not just winning, it's how you win. What do you mean? Winning in ways that make an impact. I know you know your stuff, but I'd be happy to give you some WWE specific pointers. I trained wrestlers while I was on the indies, so I'm used to helping people find their groove. You know what? I, I, I'll I take it. I that a lot, Candice. I'm trying to put my best foot forward here. Of course. Lesson one, making your opponent tap makes a statement to both WWE Universe and the locker room. Everyone's talented around here. But if they acknowledge you in the rain, they have to acknowledge you behind the curtain. Reasonable enough. I know you have a match with Chelsea Green coming up. Make her tap and win by submission. Okay, so I have to fight Chelsea Green. <clears throat> and I'm not going to do it the way Chris Parrish says it because I do not have the voice for that. Welcome a superstar who defines tenacious, brave, and driven. All right, so we got me coming to the ring. From Victoria, British Columbia, Canada. All right. All right, Chelsea, down you go. I have to beat her by submission. I don't. Uh, I don't. I I got to look for a, a submission that that could work. Oh, because I don't, I don't know what, uh, I don't know if I have a submission in uh, Jessica Wilde's uh, repertoire. I kind of wish Chelsea would, uh, no, uh, stop no selling me and like stay on the ground when I take her down.
Yeah. Okay, back in the ring, we're going to try. Okay, we already did that one. That's not really a submission. Neither is that. Damn. She caught me with a Canadian destroyer. Let's take a look here. Okay. Just had to take a look and see what I could do. Because, uh, again, like I said, I don't have... That was just, uh, she's, I found a dragon sleeper at least. Okay, so she's getting out of them pretty fast, so I kind of want to weaken her her down just a little bit more. No, Chelsea. Just going to use my resiliency. All right, Chelsea's going up top. She's getting out of that one, too. Jesus, Chelsea. Damn it, she was in the ropes. I think I might have had her at that time. Damn. Oh, hockey brawl, hockey brawl.
Holy heck. Cow. Oof. Okay, just gonna get out of that one. Damn it. It's hard to tell like which button to uh, mash on. And uh, Chelsea looking for a uh, suicide dive. Oh, and I didn't even realize that there was a chance that I could block it. Okay, this should be it. This should be it. I hope it is. God damn it. Damn. Submission matches suck, man. Would you screw off, Chelsea? Like, I'm trying to attack you and win this match. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. Chelsea. Chelsea took the win on this one. Yeah, we have to do the rematch. Two emerging superstars both want to make a big statement tonight. Shouldn't they want to make a big statement? There might be some extra motivation for this match.
All right, I, I've got this determined feel in my face, uh, look on my face right now. Um, Cause I need to beat Chelsea. Sure, us back in the ring, Chelsea. Oh, no, you don't. Chelsea Green, come on. Chelsea, 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 what are you doing to me? Jesus Christ. There we go. Finally got some advantage going on here. Stop with the reversals, will you?
Okay, still in this thing, still in this thing. Jesus. Two emerging superstars. Yeah, rematch again, but I'm wondering something here. Can I change my options in here? Cannot. Oh, I left the whole entire menu. Oops. Uh, the whole entire thing. 
uh, give me a second here. Trying to get the, the match with Chelsea Green <laughs> again. A leader in or out of the ring. Two amazing superstars. Okay, we're trying this for the third time. So this is what I'm going to be doing. I'm going to try and put the damage on her on the outside. So hopefully this will be a short trip outside. Delivered into the barricade. Yeah, but you can't count anyone out yet. This man Oh, 
Oh, miss that elbow drop. Miss that elbow drop. Trying to get her to submit, trying to get her to lose this damn match, man. She caught me with the Rough Rider. And... Stop with the fucking reversals, like Jesus. Oh, am I going to finally get her? Am I finally going to get her? Finally got her. God 
God, that was oh, that was annoying. Get the heck out of that match. <laughs> oh. There's probably more to the story, too. Oh. So we're going to continue on. We're going to, this is going to be a, a special longer length episode, I suppose. Great match. Locker room is chattering after that submission victory. This is from the Pips Week. Also talk to Candice, and I think you are your I think your pitch for your next match is great. I've already got approval from the rest of the team. What are you talking about? I know I was surprised you had a good idea too, but we really liked it. We'll get it set up for next week. See you then. I don't know what to hear. Huh? I don't know what he's got planned, but uh, I'd like to upgrade my upgrade uh, Ch um, Jessica Wild if I can right now. Take a look at what's going on on social media. Kayla still saying some uh, things about what I did to Raquel. Bailey agreeing with me, saying that the microphone match earlier was dumb. Uh, Troy saying, hyping the microphone match. But on that note, guys, um, I thought I could make this a lot longer linked ma uh, show, but uh, as I thought there was more story, there is. But I'm going to leave it up to next week's episode to continue this part of the story. Thank you all for tuning in, guys. Um, if you want to find my socials, you can look for me at my link tree, L-I-N-K-T-R dot E-E slash Chris underscore best 83. Uh, you can also find, give me one second here. You can find everything that's going on at Turnbuckle Studios right here in this commercial. Turnbuckle Studios and the Turnbuckle Affiliation Program bring you the week of streams. All times are in Eastern time. Monday nights you get the Locker Room Breakdown at 7 p.m., followed by the Raw Patrol at 8 p.m. Tuesday brings you the flagship show, Turnbuckle Talk, at 8.05 p.m. Wednesday we play games with the PlayStation Showcase at 8 p.m. Thursday we get a variety stream with the Boar's Nest at 8 p.m. Friday we game again with Unleashed, the Jessica Wild Story at 7 p.m. Following the game, join us for the SmackDown security detail at 8 p.m. The weekend brings you Saturday Night Gaming at 8 p.m. On Sunday be sure to catch the Chris Parrish podcast at 12.15 p.m. Be part of the shows and join the chat every day. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, that's everything we've got going on at Turnbuckle Studios. Um... This is uh, your host Chris Best signing off. Make sure you turn into the tune into the Turnbuckle Studios channel as right now, live, a SmackDown security detail is going on. Have yourself a wonderful Friday, everyone.